How to track a shuttlecock launched from a serving machine. We have a shuttlecock serving machine on the badminton court at a fixed location. The stereo camera captures two frames at a time. Each frame is 1280 by 960 pixels. We first convert these RGB images to gray images. The images from either lens are processed independently at the first stage. Let's focus on the left images. In order to detect moving object, which is the shuttlecock, we need two frames consecutive in time, FT and FT plus 1. Here we used a famous approach to detecting moving objects which is called background subtraction. The background subtraction method contains two steps. First step, take the difference of two images, and second step, threshold the resulting image. This is the resulting image after difference. And after threshold. Next, we use the common method of removing noise, called erosion and dilation. This is the result after erosion. And after dilation. Now, only the shuttlecock remains in the image. We can simply draw a smallest rectangle that contains the shuttlecock, and define as center to be the position of it. Next, let's check the performance of this method on a short recording. We can see there are still some noise that can't be removed. In addition, what if there are other moving objects appearing in the image, like a man walking through? To fix these issues, we use the ROI-based detection method. ROI is the abbreviation for region of interest. With this method, we only detect part of the image around the shuttlecock, instead of the whole image. There are three main advantages. First, most of the noise will be outside the ROI, then being ignored. Second, other moving objects will not affect the detection, as long as they don't intersect with the shuttlecock. Third, it can save over 97% of computing power, in terms of pixels. Then, the critical problem becomes, how to locate the ROI in each frame. We come up with the following steps. Since the serving machine is fixed at the same location, we can manually select the initial ROI before the detection started. Then, detect the first two frames after launching, within the initial ROI. Starting from the third frame, we assume the uniform linear motion of the shuttlecock, and predict the location of next ROI. After the shuttlecock reaching the ground, we will wait for the next shuttlecock and repeat from step 2. After the shuttlecock is detected in both frames from the stereo camera, we can use some basic geometry rules to convert the location of the shuttlecock from 2D image coordinate to 3D world coordinate. Last but not least, we use Kalman filter to further improve the accuracy of detection. We derived the aerodynamic equation of the shuttlecock to predict its location, and combined with the measurement from the camera, we can get the posterior knowledge of the location of the shuttlecock. With all these steps and some slight refinement, we can apply the algorithm to detect the shuttlecock. Let's look at a short result demonstration.